Hi guys, so today I just realized that I have never told you guys the whole story of how me and German boyfriend met. But sometime I mentioned the short story that we met near lake in Hanoi, Vietnam. But the long story is very cute and I think it deserves to be shared. Plus, I really need a reason to stop studying for a day, so I'm making a YouTube video instead. Anyway, grab your popcorn, let's start. It was 7 years ago, 2016, and I was 21 at that time. I lived in Hanoi, the capital of Vietnam. That's not where I'm from, but I need to move there for the university. I study marketing, by the way. I was young and I have never been in love before. I don't know why, I mean, look at this cutie. I would date her. I don't know why guys were not interested in her. German boyfriend was 28 and just finished his master's degree in biology. By the way, if you're 28 in Vietnam, the social standard is that you should have two kids, a well-established job, and maybe you're going to buy a house soon. My boyfriend is lucky to be German because he doesn't have that kind of social pressure to be successful as fast as possible, and the government even support him to study as long as he wants. Back to his story, my man now had two months off between graduating and started to work. So he started to think about what to do with his holiday. So here I come, ready to see the whole world. You're broke. Oh. So here I come, ready to see two countries in Southeast Asia. That sounds more affordable. Affordable! That's basically how it happened. But since we have German boyfriend sitting right over there, let me just tell him to come and give you the full context of the story. First of all, I look so good in this filter. I look like a princess. You don't really look that good. You need like Thank a new hairstyle or something. So honey, why did you choose to go to Vietnam and Indonesia? Well, somehow my best friend happened to go to Indonesia and Vietnam in the autumn of 2015. So I thought, yeah, I can use her traveling experience um, yeah, to design my, my trip when I'm traveling because I needed to travel alone. That already scared me a bit. So at least I knew where she was, where it was nice and yeah, where it's safe. I even have a picture from the first day when I was there at the airport waiting for my plane, which was delayed for one day, by the way. No, I'm looking a bit lost there, waiting for for the journey to start. But yeah, it was very, very exciting. Okay, thank you for listening. I'm back to the garden. Thank you. <laughs> by the way, I am so proud of him for being able to show up on my channel like this, even with the face filter. When we first started, he was so camera shy and also have a lot of privacy concern, so he didn't even want to show even his arm on the internet, which I respect that, but I'm also glad that he started to be more comfortable and show up on my channel more and more. Okay, back to the story. So he's packed his stuff and then he started his solo traveling to Asia. That was a big step for him. He has never been to an Asian country before. And if you watch my video enough, you might notice that my boyfriend is not the kind of adventurous people who's willing to fight an alligator just to feel alive. He's more like, don't get into the water, guys. There's jellyfish inside, which I love about him. But still, I'm glad that he got out of his comfort zone and go to Vietnam. Otherwise, we would have never met. The first country he wanted to visit in the trip was Vietnam and he wanted to go to the capital first. And guess who was in the capital at that time? Me, trying to learn English. There is a term in Vietnam called Westerner hunting, which refers to a student going around touristic place in Vietnam and talk to foreigners. We have a chance to practice our English and the foreigner have a chance to talk to the locals. It's a win-win situation. I mean, it's a super cool thing, but you need to be quite confident and have thick skin, which I didn't have and still don't. That's why I didn't like to participate in any of these activities. But that night, I did not feel like staying at home and watching Korean drama anymore. So I dressed up and I went out with a group of friends to practice English. Our destination was the Hoang Kiem Lake. It's like the most famous lake in Hanoi, and any tourist who come to this city has to see the lake. My friend was more confident than me, so his job was approaching the foreigners and ask if they want to talk to us. Not everybody agreed, because they had things to do, right? That's why our target were lonely travelers, not couples. Couple need time for themselves, but when you're traveling solo, maybe you would want to have someone to talk with. And that 
lady and gentleman was German boyfriend and he was actually lonely and wished to have someone to talk to. <laughs> he arrived earlier that day, was overwhelmed with everything, the weather, the traffic, the food. He checked in the hotel and planned to stay the whole night there because, you know, comfort zone. And the hotel was full of cockroach. So he bring Mikey, his camera, and then he decided to go to the lake to take some picture. By the way, here is a picture he took right before we approached him. <laughs> I was not the one who spotted him, my friend did. I did not even want to talk to him at first because I was tired and I was done with this. Luckily, I did though. So my friend went there to introduce himself and my boyfriend was like, I don't want any flyers or massage, please don't scam me. We are just students, we want to practice English with you, is that fine? Oh, in that case, please talk to me, be my friend. There was three people in my group and other members started to ask like what's your name, where are you from, what's your favorite food, things like that. But when it comes to us, there's something different, something just click here. I literally feel like I met my soulmate that day. I find that man funny, charming, interesting and I want to talk to him forever. I don't want to stop talking. That's why we talked for 60 minutes long and then I left without giving him any contact information. I was like, oh, that was a nice evening. Then I left, leaving the man who's supposed to be my soulmate there. I have never dated anyone. I didn't know what that feeling means. I thought he was just another interesting foreigner. So I left. Luckily, he was a bit more experienced. So he asked for my Facebook from the other two guy. Good job, honey. The next day, he texted our group and asked if we can all meet together and have a look around the city. So we said yes, and in the evening, there were like seven of us Vietnamese show up. But it doesn't matter because it felt like there's only me and him anyway. We sound a bit corny, but yeah, it's true. In total, we met four times in Hanoi. And then he left because he had the whole country to explore. And I thought I would never see him again, which is a pity, but you know, it's life. But then one week later, he texted me and told me that he was in a beautiful island in Vietnam and the next day would be his birthday and he wouldn't want to spend his birthday alone there. So he asked if he can come back to see me. I mean, that is pretty sweet. So I said yes. We met again in a coffee shop. We talked for like six hours. It was really, really nice. And then the next day he left for real this time because he had to go south of Vietnam and then he go to Bali and then he go back to Germany. At that time, I didn't think much of it because although we were vibing very well together and there's definitely feelings here and there. He lives in Germany, I live in Vietnam and there's almost no way to make it work. We're both very broke. But as you can see, I am here now. It worked out somehow. But it's gonna be for another video about long distance, I guess. When I thought about how we met, it's really crazy how random it is. If one of us decided to do something, just one small thing different that day, or we just stay somewhere a bit longer, we would never end up at the same place and the same time. And for that, although I'm not religious, I thank God every day. Okay, I think that's it for the story time today. Thank you very much for listening and I will see you soon in the next video properly about our long distance story. Bye-bye!